Hello my dear friends, today we will be making essential oil out of rosemary and for this we need uh, Ukrainian flavor still with a capacity of the pot 2 liter and the capacity of the flavor clam is 1 liter uh, we are waiting till the water will be boiling uh, we will be putting the rosemary inside of the clam and then uh, we will close the clam with a sieve and put it all together and get essential oil. So let's start. We make a funnel out of uh, paper. It will be more easy to put uh, the rosemary inside. With rosemary you have to be careful because it extends during the distillation process so you will have to you will need a free space to remove the sieve after distillation so leave enough space for this so this would be uh, enough I believe or I would remove a bit more so some 500 centimeters to the sieve will be enough. So I close it like this and then I put silicone gasket on top of the boiler and I put the collar and close it with a clamp. Uh, also I have to adjust um, the port, the height of the port and the essential oil separator so I will put it a little bit higher the oven and uh, then I will be waiting for first drops and my essential oil. As you see I have put some books to make the oven a little bit higher and now I have enough space to put uh, the essential oil separator which I need to separate essential oil from the hydrozole the essential oil will be getting up here and hydrozole will be going out to this vessel through this uh, tube and of course uh, for distillation process you need uh, a cooling water to uh, to be used and um, here I use a pump to pump the water in the lower part of the uh, cooler and the hot water will go back to the bucket and it will be circulating during the whole process. So we have got 2 ml of uh, rosemary essential oil out of one batch using 2 liters still with the capacity of the flavor column 1 liter. And now we will do the same with the extension. So we will uh, remove uh, the content, the used herb, and put uh, uh, the new one into the column and the extension. And, and let's see how much essential oil we will get when we will be using this accessoire. Now I don't close the column with a sieve, I just put an extension and continue with the filling. And then when you put extension you have to watch uh, the, these uh, things which will be holding the sieve so they should be up. Now I continue with the filling of the column. During the distillation the rosemary extends quite uh, heavily so we should leave more space for extension. Now I leave approximately this uh, height but I would leave more. So now it's like 5 centimeters or more. And I close it with a sieve and 
put it on the pot. So now uh, we will we'll be having the batch with the extension column and let's see how much essential oil we will get. This is kind of uh, home alchemy but uh, to my very surprised using the 2 liter pot with extension uh, and uh, the flavor column of 1 liter we have got 10 milliliters of rosemary essential oil. It's really difficult to explain how it happened because just now we have got only two and a half milliliters when there was only a pot and the flavor column but now we have got 10 and this is really what happened just now. So uh, let's see how it develops in further experiments. My dear friends, today we had been experimenting with 2 liter pot and uh, 1 liter flavor column uh, with extension and without and uh, surprisingly when we were using this uh, uh, distilling equipment uh, to without extension we have got only 2.5 milliliters and using extension we have got more than 10 milliliters of rosemary essential oil. And we will experiment further to find out how it happened and why. If you have any other questions, we will be happy to answer you. Please subscribe our YouTube channel to get more information about our stills and secrets, how to get essential oil at home of the highest quality. And let's be in touch.